So when you open up Adobe Illustrator, it's going to look something like this. You've got tool menus on the left, drop down menus on the top, and you've got these panels on the right. I want you to make sure you've got a panel over here called Layers. If yours is not switched on, you come up to Window, click on Layers, and then you can just drag this and you can lock it in with these other ones. So there's my Layers panel. I'm going to open up a new document, File, New. Easiest one to go for is a web-based one and probably something like 950 or 1024, maybe even a bit smaller, maybe 800 by 600 will be fine for what we want to do. Click OK. This is called my, uh, my artboard. Um, I'm going to put my picture over the top of my artboard. So I'm going to go File and I'm going to choose one called Place. And I'm just going to go to where I've saved some files. Now I've got one here called Animal Silhouette Moose. Now the most important thing here is I've got to click this one that says Template because I want to bring it in as a template layer. If I don't tick template, it won't work. So I've clicked my moose picture, I've clicked template, I hit place. Let's put my moose in. You can see now in my layers, I've got two layers. I've got my template layer, which has got a lock on it, and I've got one called layer one. Template layers at the bottom. What I need to do is make my moose a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lock off and now I can grab the corners and I'm going to hold down shift while I do this to keep it in proportion and I'm going to drag and make my moose much bigger. Once my moose is a decent size I put my lock back on again and what I've got to remember is what I want to draw now on top so I'm going to trace around this shape I'm basically going to work on my layer one so I need to click onto layer one so it goes this darker color like that. So there's two keyboard shortcuts I want you to remember. If I press the, the letter Z, or the letter Z, however you want to say it, that gives me um, zoom. So I click there now, and I've gone into my zoom mode. So if I plus click with my left mouse button, I can zoom in. If I hold down Alt, it goes to the minus. Can you see that? And I can zoom out the other way. I'm going to stay zoomed in for a moment. The other thing is if I press my space bar, can you see what happens? I press space bar, it turns into a hand. I can now move my zoomed picture anywhere around the screen to make it easier to work on. And in a minute, when we trace around this, I'm going to move across like this to actually um, make sure I can see what I'm doing properly. Okay, the tool I need to use is this one here called the pen tool. That's pretty much the only one I'm going to use for drawing. I'm going to click my pen tool and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to change the fill to no fill and I'm going to change my pen color for the stroke to black. Now over here it says how big do I want my stroke to be. That's basically how thick my line is. About three is good. Okay so I'm going to pick a random point to start with. I'm just going to start over here and you can see every time I click it puts down for me a line. Now because we're going to 3D print this one I'm not concerned with making curved lines. We can make curved lines. And if anybody needs to know how to do that, I'll show them in class. But for now, this is all I'm doing. I'm clicking as I'm going around and I'm laying down all these points. Okay, one thing that I hadn't done was I, I should have gone to File, Save As and it actually saved it. So I've got one here I've saved called Moose. That's my Adobe Illustrator file. You can see it's an Adobe Illustrator type. And this one here now is one that I've finished. So if I'm going to show you around that. So you can see I've cut the legs off. I don't need the legs. I only need the body. So what I would do now is I'm going to save this in another format. So I'm going to go File, Save As. And this time I'm going to choose one called SVG. Okay, which actually stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this one Moose 2 because I've already got a moose. And I'm just going to hit save. Okay, agree to all this. Click OK. And now I've saved a version of this as an SVG file. Okay, so now I've opened up my Autodesk 123D design. You can see mine's slightly clipped on the left hand side because I can't fit it all onto my video capture software. So I might need to move this around to sh show you how it works. Basically, I'm going to bring in that picture. I'm going to put it onto my grid. Before I do that, I'm actually going to change my grid. So on my grid, I've got the feature here where I can basically edit my grid. It's just off the screen for you. 
click on edit grid and I'm going to make my grid 100 by 100 mil which is exactly the same as the build on our 3D printer so I'm going to update it so you can see now it goes from 0 to 100 that's about the size that I want and I'm going to bring in my picture that I've just um, done so I'm going to import I'll move this so you can see it file import my SVG as a sketch there it is moose 2 pick moose 2 and click open so there's my moose at the moment my moose is much bigger than my grid is you can see the difference there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it I'll zoom a little bit so I can see both I'm going to select this and I'm going to do something to it so I'm going to click on it so it gets that green line around it choose the selection tool and I'm going to choose the move tool first thing I'm going to do I'm going to rotate it around and try and get it pretty much the way I want it to look which is something like this and then I'm going to scale it down so I'm going to choose the selection again this time I'm going to go for this one called scale and you can see here I can scale it by a number or I can scale it by dragging it so if I drag this one it gets bigger drag that one gets smaller we'll try something like that and see what that looks like so I'm going to click off it I need to put it on top of this one so I'm going to actually select it this way I'm going to choose my um, up here I'm going to do the same thing. It's another way of doing the same thing. Choose move. I'm going to move it. Now the easiest way to do it is to actually use these pointer arrows. Now it still looks like it's a bit big to me. That doesn't matter. I'm going to zoom in now and I'm going to scale it again. If I roll my mouse, I zoom in on the actual grid so I can see it much more clearly now. What I'm actually going to do with it. So again, I'm going to pick on here, click on here, and I'm going to scale it. And I'll make it a little bit smaller to actually make it fit onto my grid and I'm just going to move that up to the top so I'm going to move the whole thing oops click that again grab this white bit move the thing up so all I need to do really now is I need to um, make some leg um, sections and I need to actually draw my legs out I'll just show you very quickly how to do the slots for the legs and then it's up to you to use the polyline tool to draw your own um, the leg pieces that attach so here we go I'm going to zoom in slightly show you I'm going to put the little leg slot here I'm going to choose my polyline tool now remember when you first have to do something you have to click where you want the sketch to go so I want it to go somewhere on this shape I don't matter where I click as long as it's highlighted green okay click on there now it's saying where do I want to start well I'm going to come um, I'm going to come from this very line so I know how far up I'm going and I'm going to come up and you can see the sizes there it's saying 5 mil 6 mil I'm going to type in 10 and then I'm going to click oops when it goes up to 10 I'm going to click I'm going to come across and I want to go 2 and I'm going to click again and now if I drag down doesn't matter if I go past it I can go further and I'll click again I've done with that drawing hit my tick now what I need to do is I need to trim it up so I'm going to go back into my same set of drawing tools find the trim tool select the whole thing in green so it knows what I'm going for and then I can just hover and delete the bits I don't want now it doesn't like that one because my line didn't go past it in the first instance so I might have to actually join that one back up again so I'll show you how to do that just in case the same thing happens to you I'll get my polyline again I will select this drawing and I'll go from the end there to the end there and there we go maybe I'll demonstrate again and show you how to do it properly over this one so I don't have to make a mistake on it I'll go for my polyline tool this time I'll start somewhere um, outside the sketch I'm gonna come up now just in a minute if it's wrong I need to go two mil across here click come down okay and tick so what I can do now as I can have a little look over here I'm not too far off but I'm a little bit off what I can do is I can select this one I can just drag and I can readjust just above that grid line looks about right okay so I need to trim it off again come to my tools go for my trim again select the whole thing and then get rid of the ones that I don't want so now I've got my got my moose all there ready to go I just need to draw my legs so that I've got the same slot in the legs to fit on 
and I'll show you one that I've done in a moment now and so you can see how it all looks but what I would do with this one is I'd go back into the 3D view when I've got the legs done as well and I'd literally just choose this one select it go for my extrude and we want to extrude it upwards to 2 mil okay that's 2 mil press enter and there's my mousse almost ready for printing let me just open the finished version so you can see so here's my finished mousse I've drawn my legs so the same thing I did the slots here and basically I drew one then I just clicked control C to copy control V to paste and I pulled out a second so this one now is being saved first of all I've saved a copy to my computer okay and I've just called this one mousse that's saved up there I'm not going to save it again um, in order to print this then I need to create what's called an STL file so all I do is when I'm happy with it and it's extruded I go to export as 3D as STL there's different settings make sure you choose combine objects so it picks up all the pieces in fact what you should probably do is just to be on the safe side I'll do this and show you I'm gonna make sure I've selected everything before I do that so they've all gone green they're all selected I'm going to go File, Export, STL. I'll choose Fine. I'll make sure I've ticked Combine. Click OK. And then again, I need to find somewhere to put it. So there's my Moose Mr. M3. I've already done that. Don't need to save it again. That's now ready to 3D print. Good luck.